In today's interconnected world, the notion of certain countries being less welcoming to Muslims is a topic that sparks curiosity and conversation. As we traverse continents, we find that cultural, historical, and political factors contribute to this complex phenomenon. From Asia to Europe and beyond, there are places where Muslims face challenges in being fully accepted or integrated. This isn't just about numbers or demographics, it's about understanding the intricate tapestry of global societies and how they interact with diverse religious communities. Now, let's delve into the specifics. On our list of countries where Muslims are not particularly welcomed in 2024, each country's position on this list is shaped by unique factors such as government policies, societal attitudes, and historical developments. Number 10. Myanmar Myanmar, a Southeast Asian nation, has become infamous for its harsh treatment of the Muslim Rohingya minority. Over the past 10 years, more than 700,000 Rohingya have been forced to escape to neighboring Bangladesh due to systematic persecution. This crisis is perhaps the most recognized, but Muslims across Myanmar face hostility, especially in regions like Rakhine State, where many Muslims reside. In these areas, mosques have been destroyed, and practicing Islam openly poses significant risks. The Myanmar government has faced accusations of ethnic cleansing from multiple international organizations, making it extremely challenging for Muslims to thrive there. This dire situation has placed Myanmar among the top countries with the highest number of displaced people globally, according to a UN report. The hostile environment renders Myanmar a perilous and unwelcoming place for Muslims, many of whom are left without citizenship and basic rights. Number 9. China In China, the relationship with its Muslim population, particularly the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, is severely strained. Since 2017, over 1 million Uyghur Muslims have been detained in re-education camps, as reported by human rights organizations like Amnesty International, the Chinese government's aggressive policies in Xinjiang aim to suppress Islamic practices, with reports of mosques being demolished, Uyghur women being coerced into interfaith marriages, and bans on Islamic dress and beards. This crackdown extends beyond Xinjiang, with surveillance technologies targeting Muslims throughout China. Despite China's status as a major economic power, and a popular destination for trade and tourism, it is becoming increasingly difficult for Muslims to feel welcomed. The global Muslim community has expressed outrage, and by 2024, the number of Muslim tourists visiting China had dropped by 25% compared to 2018. Number 8. India India, home to over 200 million Muslims, boasts one of the largest Muslim populations worldwide. However, in recent years, the rise of Hindu nationalism has strained relations between Muslims and the Hindu majority. Anti-Muslim rhetoric has escalated, particularly following the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act CAA, in 2019, which many perceived as discriminatory towards Muslims. Instances of mob violence against Muslims have increased, with over 500 reported incidents of communal violence in 2023 alone. While India is renowned for its rich cultural diversity and long history of coexistence, many Muslims today feel less welcome in parts of the country. Rising tensions have also impacted tourism, with Muslim tourists increasingly wary of visiting India, despite its appeal as a tourist destination with world-renowned landmarks like the Taj Mahal. The political climate has created a significant hurdle for Muslims seeking to explore its beauty. Number 7. France France, known for its strong commitment to secularism or laïcité, has faced challenges in balancing this principle with its growing Muslim population. With nearly 6 million Muslims, France hosts the largest Muslim community in Western Europe. However, tensions have escalated due to laws that restrict visible Islamic symbols. In 2010, France became the first nation to prohibit the full face veil in public spaces, and by 2021, further measures were introduced that many Muslims perceive as discriminatory. This environment has led to feelings of alienation among Muslims, particularly in conservative regions where cultural differences are more pronounced. Despite being a top tourist destination, attracting over 89 million visitors annually, the experience for Muslim tourists can be overshadowed by legal and social constraints, making it less welcoming for those practicing Islam. 
The situation is compounded by political rhetoric and policies that often target Muslim practices, creating an atmosphere of unease and exclusion. In recent years, the rise of far-right political movements has intensified these challenges. Number 6. Switzerland Switzerland, often seen as a peaceful and neutral nation, has not always been perceived as welcoming by its Muslim residents. In 2009, a controversial referendum resulted in a ban on the construction of new minarets, signaling discomfort with visible Islamic symbols. Although Muslims make up about 5% of Switzerland's 8.5 million population, public debates around Islamic practices, such as wearing the niqab or building mosques, have fueled a rise in Islamophobia. A 2023 study by the European Network Against Racism found that 35% of Swiss Muslims reported experiencing religious-based discrimination. While Switzerland's stunning landscapes and high living standards attract many, the cultural unease surrounding Islam has deterred some Muslim tourists and migrants from viewing the country as a friendly destination. Number 5. Sri Lanka Sri Lanka, renowned for its breathtaking beaches and historical sites, presents a more complicated picture for its Muslim residents. Following the 2019 Easter bombings by extremists, anti-Muslim sentiment surged dramatically. Muslims, who constitute about 9.3% of the population, faced retaliatory violence and social ostracization. Many Muslim-owned businesses were destroyed and several mosques were attacked. In 2020, the government imposed a ban on burials for COVID-19 victims disproportionately affecting Muslims who adhere to Islamic burial customs. Although this ban was lifted in 2021, the scars remain, leaving Muslims feeling unwelcome. By 2024, tourism statistics indicated a 15% decline in Muslim visitors to Sri Lanka, primarily due to safety and discrimination concerns. The socio-political landscape in Sri Lanka continues to evolve, with efforts to rebuild trust and promote reconciliation among its diverse communities. Number 4. Denmark Denmark, renowned for its exceptional living standards and robust social welfare system, has been navigating its relationship with Islam for many years. The Muslim community in Denmark, though relatively small, is steadily increasing, accounting for approximately 4.4% of the population as of 2020. In 2018, Denmark enacted a law prohibiting face coverings in public areas, including the niqab and burqa which led to significant protests from the Muslim community. Over recent years, the Danish government has introduced more stringent immigration policies, which have disproportionately impacted Muslims, particularly those from refugee backgrounds. A survey conducted in 2023 revealed that 55% of Danish Muslims reported experiencing discrimination, especially in housing and employment sectors. Despite Denmark's image as a progressive and inclusive society, these policies have fostered an environment where Muslims, especially women who wear traditional Islamic clothing, often feel unwelcome. Number 3. Israel Israel, a nation central to three of the world's major religions, maintains a complex relationship with its Muslim citizens. Muslims constitute about 18% of Israel's population, yet the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict significantly influences these relations. Muslim visitors, particularly those identifying as Palestinian or having strong regional ties, frequently encounter heightened scrutiny at checkpoints and border crossings. Access to Islamic holy sites, such as the Al-Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem, is often restricted, especially during periods of increased tension. A report from 2022 highlighted that over 4,000 Palestinian Muslims were denied entry into Israel for religious pilgrimages. For Muslims wishing to visit Jerusalem's sacred sites, navigating the political and military checkpoints can make the journey a stressful experience. Number 2. Greece Greece, positioned at the intersection of Europe and the Middle East, has been a pivotal point in the refugee crisis since 2015. Over a million refugees, many hailing from war-torn regions like Syria and Afghanistan, have sought refuge on Greek shores. However, their reception has been far from welcoming. Muslim refugees, in particular, often find themselves in overcrowded camps where conditions are harsh and challenging. A report from the European Council on Refugees and Exiles in 2023 highlighted that Greece has one of the highest rates of refugee application rejections in Europe, with only about 30% of Muslim asylum seekers receiving approval. Furthermore, Athens, 
the only European capital without an official mosque, forces Muslims to resort to makeshift spaces for prayer. These legal hurdles and social challenges make Greece a particularly tough environment for Muslim migrants and travelers. Number 1. Central African Republic In the Central African Republic, CAR, the situation is dire, marked by civil unrest largely driven by religious tensions since 2013. The conflict has seen Christian militias and Muslim rebel groups clashing, resulting in a severe humanitarian crisis. The Muslim minority, which once constituted 15% of the population, has been significantly reduced as over 700,000 people, predominantly Muslims, have been displaced. Human Rights Watch reports widespread atrocities against Muslims, including killings and forced displacement. For those who remain, practicing Islam openly is fraught with danger, as attacks on mosques and Muslim communities are frequent. This hostile environment has rendered Qar one of the most inhospitable countries for Muslims, especially in conflict zones where they face targeted violence based on their faith. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.